Today we're comparing two of the better projectors that I've tested recently, the Wimius K9 and the Arzen Boom 3 to find out which is the better option. So let's go ahead and get started. As far as pricing goes, they seem to change quite a bit, but as of this video, the Wimius K9 is on sale for 260 bucks, while the Arzen Boom 3 is about $30 more, so fairly close. The size and shape is going to be very similar. They both feel like pretty good quality. Both are square and boxy with some pretty good thickness or depth to them. Arzen is a little bigger and a tad heavier. But as far as the connections, one advantage for the K9 projector is you have an ethernet port, which is nice if you don't want to use Wi-Fi. They both have two HDMI ports, two USB ports, and a headphone jack. The one thing I did notice for Arzen is it switches automatically when you plug something in to an HDMI port, where it doesn't do that on the K9 projector. Another advantage for the Arzen Boom 3 is it's got 36 watts of built-in audio versus 20 watts for the Wimius K9. They both sound really good in person compared to most other projectors that I've tested, but the Arzen Boom 3 is a little bit louder overall, plus it has better bass. Now obviously I think you can get better sound with external speakers, but if I had to choose one just based on the internal sound, I would probably go with the Arzen Boom 3. Here's a quick sample just to give you an idea of what they sound like. Now as far as the features go, there's quite a few things to consider, but these two are going to be fairly similar. They both have Bluetooth, both are native 1080p resolution, both projectors have a fully sealed optical engine which prevents dust and reduces black spots. The Arzen Boom 3 works best on a screen up to 300 inches. I couldn't find where it says the size of the screen for the K9 projector, but I feel like it's going to be somewhat similar. Software wise, they're going to be very similar. They both have Wi Fi and built in apps like Netflix, YouTube, and so on. So you could use both projectors without adding additional streaming devices. The remote controls are pretty nice on both as well. You've got app shortcuts on both. As you can see here, it looks like you get quite a few more buttons with the K9 projector. I also noticed you can lay the K9 remote down flat without having it roll back and forth. So that's kind of nice. But again, probably going to be a personal preference on which one is better. Better. Both projectors also have auto keystone correction and autofocus, so you can move them around without having to adjust hardly anything. But then you can also go into settings and adjust both the keystone correction and the focus manually on both projectors. Fan noise is going to be pretty similar on these two at about 60 or 59 decibels for the Rs and Boom 3 versus about 57, 58 decibels for the K9 projector. So Wimius is just a tad quieter, but it's still pretty close close. Now probably one of the most important things to consider is the screen or picture quality. On the left is the Boom 3, on the right is the K9. Arzen has 500 ANSI lumens versus 700 for the K9. But the interesting thing is when you put these next to each other, the Arzen Boom 3 looks a tad brighter. And the biggest thing that I noticed between these two is you can see better detail in the shadows or darker areas for the Arzen Boom 3. So the K9 projector does seem to be just a tad bit darker. So you can't always go by what the brightness is advertised for these. When it comes to the color accuracy, the Arzen Boom 3 is a little bit warmer, but the K9 actually seems to have more natural tones to it. I don't think you can go wrong with either one as far as screen quality, and some of it will be personal preference, but I would probably give the slight advantage to the Boom 3 by Arzen as far as screen quality goes. 
Sort of the same thing with gaming. Because you have the ability to see the details a little better in shadows or darker areas on the Arzen Boom 3, I might lean towards that one when it comes to gaming. But of course, when comparing these two, it may come down to which features are more important. You can see there's quite a bit that's similar between these two. Maybe just a couple things that might make you lean towards one over the other. But I do feel you get a little better audio sound, slightly better picture quality. Plus it appears to be a tad brighter with the Rs and Boom 3. So it looks like this one might be the projector to be in this category since it's won the last two comparisons.